welcome. If you're new to my channel, thanks for checking me out. I know it just looks like something and probably like half my face. Um, I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> And if you're a subscriber, thanks for returning for more of my madness. I'm John Stark from MacMovieGuy.com, and this is my review of Lou. And in case you ever have looked at the image and been like, why is that so weird? Can't he afford... This is because I'm a blind film critic. I don't even know what my videos look like. I don't even know my face is in the frame most of the time. I try to balance it at the beginning and then go from there, but <laughs> I know my hand moves. So <laughs> it's possible by the end of the video. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you guys get. Uh, so, but I got Lou and, uh, it's a Netflix film and I did not know this was coming and this was phenomenal. I loved it. Uh, it's produced by JJ Abrams, which pff, immediately, you know, I was like, Oh God, it's another Netflix movie of the week. Oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> immediately I was, I had so so many misgivings about watching this film, about going into it. I was like, oh, it's Journey Small and Alice and Janney. There's, uh, I don't even know. Do I want to watch this? And the, oh, J.J. Abrams produced this? It might actually be good. And lo and behold, it is. Um, I don't know why. I don't know how a Netflix doesn't deserve a film this good. <laughs> Um, Alice and Janney is fantastic in this. Uh, I know I'm, I sh feel like I should say Journey Smollett, except for Journey is not written as, uh, nearly dynamically badass as Alice and Janney's. I mean, it's so, uh, counter to everything Alice and Janney has done before. She's like an action star in this film. And if somebody had told me, hey, would you be interested in seeing Alice and Janney be an action star? I'd be like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> but now that I've seen it, I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, I am interested. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a really tight film, small cast. Um, and, uh... My, I have, I only have one problem with it, and we'll get to it. Um, so, anyway, Lou uh, is the name of Alice and Janney's character, and she lives out in the middle of nowhere. She's got a dog, Jax, um, and uh, she hunts, and she's got this kind of like rapport with the local sheriff, uh, not that they're in a relationship, they just have a rapport, like a friendly, they know each other type of thing. Um, she has this house, uh, she has some sort of rental property thing that she rents to Journey Smollett and her little daughter V. Um, and that's kind of life until one day when, uh, Journey's ex who supposedly is dead, who she thought died in the explosion. Uh, she's been telling her daughter, though, that he's off seeking treasure because she's really young and he, she didn't want to say, hey, your dad died in the explosion. Turns out dad's not dead. Dad is back. And uh, he comes back to take his daughter that uh, journeys he thinks Journey's been hiding from him all these years, when really Journey legitimately believed he died in this explosion. Um, and uh, he's there to get the to get his little girl and and uh, take her. So he kidnaps his own daughter and takes her, and Journey has nowhere to turn except to Lou, who's this cranky old uh, ten, ten tenant type person of hers, and. Uh, turns out Lou is, has a very particular set of skills she's accumulated over a long career. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so she's just, she just, like, kicks in. Like, you get a hint of it because she's playing around with, like, a sniper rifle and stuff, like, early in the film. But when she, like, kicks in, like, she's like, I'm gonna get V. It's like... <laughs> 
it's like a, like flipping like turning a terminator on <laughs> like you know you can tell all of the wires and everything have have clicked all of her skill sets are coming back to her and uh she's just like loading up she's like give me the batteries we gotta load up we gotta take this i need this i need this <laughs> she's just she loads up and she just walks out the door and she's like stay here and she's like no i'm going after my if you slow me down <laughs> it was really great anyway so the rest of the film is is her uh basically hunting uh this guy through the woods uh, who's got the the daughter and uh, the dad is played by Logan Marshall Green, um, and uh, yeah, it's Lou and uh, Journey Smollett hunting Logan Marshall Green and trying to get the daughter back. That's basically the totality of the film, and Alice and Janney being put in several situations where you realize, oh shit, she's got a past, and she does reveal her past. Slowly, as the film progresses, you learn more and more about the film. The film is very twisty. You may think you know what the film is. You, I, I don't, I don't think you're going to guess what the film is. Uh, it's may, it's possible. I'm not going to say it's impossible to guess it. Um, but I also, I, I just don't think it's that obvious of a film. Um, so, uh, she kind of just at the beginning comes across as just being a random farmer. Uh, at least I don't think there are, there are details. I don't think you could guess all of the details of the film because this film is actually really layered with, uh, backstory. Surprisingly so for a film that's just a lot of walking through the woods, um, with a very limited cast of, of main characters. So, uh, it's, uh, I really, uh, I really liked it. I really love the film. I think Alice and Janney here is incredible. Um, I've already got her in my top 10 performances done, done of, uh, for actresses of the year. I don't know if she'll stay there, but, uh, I, this is, uh, Alice and Janney, unlike I've seen Alice and Janney ever, this, the closest I can think of is when she was really unlikable in I, Tanya, playing the, the mother. Um, this is, but as an action star, like, I can't think of a time when I've seen Alice and Janney trying to be a badass, like, and literally, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and, you know, like, all this stuff, and, wow, uh, so, yeah, I, I, I like this film a lot, uh, the film has one problem for me, and, uh, it's Logan Marshall Green, who I have liked in things before, and I didn't like him in this, um, I, I, it's a very odd role for him because he's said to be mentally unstable, but he's also trying to do this, like, um, I'm, I'm really here because I love my daughter thing. And I don't think either of them really sold well to me. He couldn't really walk both worlds. Uh, so he just kind of came across as just some guy. Um, I didn't feel like he had enough of a connection with the daughter, uh, the same way that Journey was able to sell, uh, her, you know, maternal connection to her daughter in the beginning of the film. Journey was great at that, and immediately I was like, yes, mother-daughter, got it. This guy is, I know he hasn't been around, but you would think he'd be really happy to see his daughter, and it's just, it kind of feels like he's like, hey, I'm your dad, don't you remember me? And it's like, I guess, I mean, aren't you, if you're really here for that, then shouldn't you just be like grateful to, anyway, um, and as far as being mentally unstable, he doesn't really seem that mentally unstable either. He just kind of is in this really weird, um, place where they didn't, he, it's almost like he didn't know what to do with his role and they were, they just kind of left it at that and they were just like, okay. So, uh, I was never really that threatened by him. I never really felt like he was going to hurt the girl. I didn't really feel like anything from him. Uh, it's, he's not the lead. Um, Alice and Janney is what gets your blood pumping. Uh, but he is kind of a fairly big part of the film. Um, so, uh, he is the villain of the film. So, it's... I, I did need more, and unfortunately, I just didn't get it. 
I know he's worked with J.J. Abrams before, and uh, it probably seemed like a logical choice to cast, um, you know, from his production standpoint. But I would I would have tried to find somebody else. So um, Ben Foster would have been great probably for this kind of a role. Um, I feel like Logan Marshall Green is a little bit of a poor man's Ben Foster. So, um, yeah, there's some backstory that has to be sold later on in the film that Logan just can't, he just doesn't know what to do with and can't handle it and doesn't deliver. So that was my only thing is every time Logan has to try to help further the plot, the story, his character, anything like that, it just kind of, none of it worked for me. So, uh, the rest of the film was great, like above, above great, uh, for Netflix, this, this is a super film for them. Uh, they've had such a year full of terrible films that this is actually something I'll remember years down the line. Um, and I'm really excited about it. So, uh, please watch, please watch Lou, uh, had some really great audio description, uh, also in the film, so definitely, uh, you will not be lost in this film either. Uh, unfortunately, it did not give the narrator's name. It just did, like, International Digital Center and then just peaced out. And I was like, okay, so I know the company. That's it. Cool. All right. Um, <laughs> so I don't know who did it, but good job. Um... Yeah, so that's Lou, and it's on Netflix. I strongly suggest you watch it. Uh, it is one of the many particular set of skill movies that we've gotten, but this has its own twists. Uh, I would say pretty big twists um, that might get you, might right hook you. So uh, give it a shot. Give it a chance to to punch you out. You know, <laughs> give, it, give it that chance. Click on it on Netflix. Um, it's way better than a lot of the things that they released on us earlier this year. I know if you haven't canceled your Netflix subscription after watching shit like Me Time, um, this is a, a nice, uh, makeup present for that. Um, so anyway, unfortunately it does have Logan Marshall Green, so I'm going to give Lou an A minus. Um, I would love to be able to give it an A, but he's just... It's just this one thing walking around the film where it just, I, I wanted, it, it, it had to be a different actor. He didn't do anything with his role. It's unfortunate because I think there was an A film here had it been a different actor. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's Lou. Um, and uh, thanks for checking out this video and you can let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get to 100 this year, so please subscribe if you're brand new. You can also check out my website, MacMovieGuy.com, for more reviews. You can go to the audio description project, abb.acb.org, for more movies that have audio description and where you can watch them, and also the adna.org. I would normally like to hype the narrator of the film here, except the credits do not tell you who the narrator is, so I don't know. And it doesn't just list companies, because that would be weird. Um, so, no, it lists individual talent. Uh, but still go over there and give them a shout and, and uh, support them. Anyway, that's it for me today. Um, I gotta go review something else, and I will see you on the other side. <laughs>